Hello painting peeps and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. I'm certainly glad to be here. I just got back from 11 days of traveling. I spent five days in Dallas um, with the Massey boys for the fluid art experience and uh, then jumped on a plane and flew right to Virginia to have Thanksgiving with my girls and uh, proceeded to be handcuffed to the stove for 48 hours, but had a blast teaching my tailor um, all the traditions and customs and enjoying Thanksgiving for the first time in her home. It was happy. I was happy to pass the torch, but uh, I wanted to start this video out um, thanking each and every one of you who joined us at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas um, a week and a half ago. I had the time of my life. The only thing I'm disappointed about is that I didn't have more one-on-one -on -one time with each of you during the, uh, the evening events to chat more. Um, but I had a blast and I am beyond grateful for those of you who have uh, chosen me to help you with your painting journey. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, today is kind of a special video as well. I'm going to be making some Christmas ornaments on uh, some glass balls. My painting journey started three years ago by doing just that. I sat down in my little workspace and had decided because I was recently retired to make Christmas ornaments for my tree because I had the time to do it and I needed things to help me pass the day. And uh, I mixed up some glue and water and some paints and uh, grabbed some Christmas ornaments and proceeded to drip paint around those ornaments. And as I was doing it, I was mesmerized by the way the paint flowed and the way the paint mixed together two colors making a third color. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, I should do this on a canvas. How cool would that be? Without even realizing that fluid art was a thing. And that's how my journey started. So I'm gonna get down to the table and I'm gonna show you some examples uh, using Mod Podge, using glue all, how I prep my ornament, how I support my or ornament until they're dry. And I might even show you one uh, simple one done with alcohol ink, all in fun. Um, I love this time of year. I love uh, decorating our home for Christmas. And um, I'm gonna enjoy showing you a few little tricks of the trade that I learned along the way, guys. Once again, thank you all for uh, joining us in Dallas, Texas. Can't wait to see you again in April. April 27th through 29th is our next convention in Seattle, and um, it's going to be a blast, guys. Can't wait to see you again. Let's get down to the table. Let's paint. Hello, painting peeps. I'm back with you. So I'm just doing a little experiment here. I got a lot of stuff going on, so I'm first going to tell you about the tools that I have there. This is just a styrofoam uh, board that I got at Michael's. A lot of people use it for floral arrangements, sticking them in the bottom of a uh, pot to, to uh, hold the flowers. Um, but it, it, it's very, very stiff and you want something that's very, very stiff because what I do is I take these wooden dowels, which I also got at Michael's, and I stick it in there. And as you can see right here, it supports it very, very well. So we got wooden dowels, we got paper plates, we have scissors, <laughs> we have a paper towel, we have our glass ornaments. You can certainly use the plastic ornaments. I prefer the glass ones. But what I do is I start out first, these dowels, um, let me take this, little hooky thing off and you put that aside, but these dowels are a little bit thinner than the hole um, at the bottom of the ornament. So what I do is I take a paper towel, I fold it in half, and then I cut it in half, 
and I take that and I put the paper down, the pa the bleh, bleh, <laughs> take two, I put the wooden dowel on the paper towel and I kind of roll it to make the dowel a little bit thicker. And that might be a bit too thick, so let me cut some of this off right here. And then I slowly start to twist and stick this in to the ornament. And it holds it very, very nicely because you can either drip the paint on top or drip and swirl. And if you're swirling it, you want to be able to swirl it easily. So there you have it. Now you take a little pair of scissors, you poke a hole in your paper plate, you take your dowel and you stick it in that hole and that can support the drippings that come off if you're not twisting your ornament. So there are tools. Hopefully they will all work out. Um, this is also great for drying it. When you're all done, you don't want to have to lay your ornament down. So this supports it really well. And then you just kind of push it into that styrofoam. So that's how I support my um, my ornaments. Now we're going to be doing a little experiment. We're going to start first with DecoArt Ready Pour Paints. These paints are all pre-mixed up for you. You don't have to add anything to them. I have not used them before. I'm not sure if they're going to be thick enough because I believe that your paint needs to be thick enough so it all doesn't just run off of your ornament. So the first thing we're going to start off with is DecoArt ready pour acrylics in the aquamarine and they're having a 40 percent off sale guys there's a link in my description box go ahead and use that link it gives you a discount and 40 percent off i think through monday deco art uh, ready pour paints in the blue violet deco art ready pour in the tropical blue and Deco Art Ready Pour in the sky blue. Now what um, I did, I purchased these at Michael's because I wanted to get rolling on this and didn't want to have to order and wait. But this came in a nice little four pack. I think it was on sale for about $9. Um, and they picked the colors for you and I like these colors. So I thought we'd go ahead and give them a go. When we're done with this ornament, we're going to try it with our piggies and I will come back at you and walk you through what I did with the piggies. We're also going to try it with glue all and our fluid paints and we're also going to try it with some alcohol inks. So we're just here to play. We'll get started with our ready pour paints and I'm basically just going to open these up drizzle them on top of this ornament, then twist my ornament to get the design that I want. I'm also gonna layer them in a cup and do a traveling ring pour on this guy. So let's put some tunes on and let's see how uh, round number one goes, guys. So this next ornament, I'm going to use my TLP, um, this little piggies. We have this little piggy in the White Haven. We have this little piggy 
in the Deja Vu, one of their new colors that I am so excited about. And we have this little piggy in the Echeveria. I hope I said that right. <laughs> now these are all mixed the same way you mix them for a bloom. Um, you disperse them with some Josonia gloss varnish. I've got about one part pigment to one part Josonia gloss varnish. And then I added my pouring medium to this. Our pouring medium for my TLPs is Bare Interior, I'm sorry, Bare 8300 mixed two parts with Josonia gloss varnish right here, guys. Um, stir it up real good. It's got a nice thick consistency, so I think it's going to take its time um, rolling down that ball. But what I'm going to do is I am going to first put my pillow paint um, on the glass ornament. And our pillow paint today is, where is it? Let me grab it. It is PPG Multi Pro interior house paint. Can you see that guys? I'm working in kind of a little cramped space here. So pillow paint down first, then we'll add our TLPs, our this little piggies, and then we'll do a little blowing to see if we get some cell action and to see how much it stretches. So let's get busy. with my fluid paints guys right here we have golden fluids in the carbon black and here we have well this is not fluid but it's a lovely color deco art metallics in the 24 karat gold golden fluids in the transparent red iron oxide Golden Fluids and the Q word, the Nickel Azo Gold. Now, all of these paints are mixed with Elmer's Glue All. I put about, oh, a half an ounce of Glue All into my cup, squirted a few squirts of the uh, Golden Fluids into it, stirred it up, and then started to add water until it was at a very thick consistency, a little thicker than what you would do for like a ring pour. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out. These guys are all beautiful. The bloom has stretched, but it's really pretty. The Ready Pour paints did a beautiful, beautiful job on this ornament. And this was a second bloom because this one was so much fun. So let's go ahead and give this guy a go. Yeah. 
final bowl, guys, we're going to do in alcohol inks. Um, we are using Ranger alcohol inks. This is their turquoise. I love this color right here. Valencia, beautiful orange. And right here is Limeade. Now, I buy these little applicators. Um, you can use cotton balls. You can do whatever you want. But these little applicators you can get at Michael's. They have pre-cut little pieces of felt that you just stick right on there. And then you can add individual colors of alcohol ink. You can do a collage of different colors. And uh, you just press it onto your ornament. And it dries quite quickly much quicker than the um, acrylic paints do. And then if you go in with a second coat, um, as you lay it down on the first coat, it uh, marries with it and brings up all kinds of beautiful colors. So let's go ahead and do a Christmas ornament using these pretty colors and alcohol ink. fun this one this one is sad <laughs> this one basically just turned to mud this was done with the Nicolazo gold the decor 24 karat gold and I just kept adding too much paint and because it was so fluid they all just kind of mixed together and uh, turned into a bit of mud but that's okay lessons learned on that guy this is our alcohol ink. Um, that's kind of cool. It's uh, very transparent looking. You can still see the inside of the ball, but oh, with Christmas lights around this and the alcohol ink, I think that would be absolutely stunning. This was the perfect consistency. And look, it held its colors beautiful. It all didn't drip off. This, this is just a very, very pretty ornament. And this is, we're using the Deco Art ready to pour paints. You don't have to mix anything. You just pour on top of it. So look at that purple and blue together. That's beauteous. Um, but this was done with um, the TLP, this little piggy pigments with a black cell activator and uh, then I just let it drip and stretch. These are absolutely lovely once they dry and I use a spray varnish on them. They'll be beautiful. Now I plan on doing this again using a flat ornament. You have to kind of rush with this because once you put your pillow paint down it starts to run. You lose your pillow and you quickly have to add your colors, your cell activator and then below. But there are so many people out there who do glorious, glorious ornaments using uh, their pillow paint and their pigments. This was my TLP pigments as well. I let it drip. I put a little bit more paint down and uh, just let it stretch out, but it made an absolutely glorious ornament. So there you have it, guys. There's a lot of people out there who do this and they do it very, very well, but it's a fun technique. It's fun to make your own ornaments for the holidays, to gift them to people. And it was especially fun for me when I did it with my grandbaby guys. So there you have it, Christmas ornaments, some good, some bad. It is what it is. 
Thanks for joining me guys. Hang out. We're going to have some uh, photos from the fluid art experience from a week or so ago. Um, lovely faces, lovely painting peeps, and uh, it was a marvelous event and I'm beyond proud to be part of it. Happy holidays, everyone. Miss you till I see you again. It's like I've been waiting